Welcome back. Now, when a rock group is phenomenally successful, it's difficult to discuss them without a mass of statistics. 41 British hit singles, 22 in the top 10, spanning four decades, 370 weeks in the charts. It can go on forever. This group has just been honoured for their outstanding contribution to the British music industry and are about to be enshrined in wax at Madame Tussauds. <laughs> I refer to status quo, and here are Rick Parfitt and Francis Rossi. <laughs> Congratulations on the award. That was well deserved. And I did like the strip you did it when the. Well, you did. You had the dinner suits on, and suddenly you didn't. Oh mm. uh, yeah, there's something we wanted to do for some time. For some, we wanted, I wanted to do it in those um, American leisure, leisure suits. Thing. You know those yellow crimpling leisure suits. Leisure. We were going to buy them. Leisure. 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 <laughs> and uh, just rip them off on a show sometime. And uh, when they said to do this, and we said, we're in those, mm. and, and we're no way. So we did. Right. Now, uh, you, many years in the industry, of course, that's why you got your prize. And <laughs> last year was your silver anniversary, wasn't uh, it, you two? Yeah. Yeah, it's very nice. Come on, put it in. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we mustn't start that. Well, right, let's carry on. We've been Go at on, it then. for a while. Yes. How are you, bud? Uh, All right. 25 years ago. Um, yes, in yes. Butlins, it was. 25 yeah. years. Yes. And the same fans, I mean, those who've lived. Oh, yes. <laughs> 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 Kilt, yeah. Yeah. Don't kill. Yeah. 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 There's a few of them. Yeah. yeah. And but a new lot. I mean, they obviously pick up Yeah, we pick up new ones each time. It's one of those things in shows, it seems either they're too young, so you're not cool, or they're too old, so you're not cool. And we've got both ends, so we've... So Had it really. She she got it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, uh, the audience is anything really from, from from seven to seventy because really when you come to see Quo, it's 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 guaranteed fun. It's good time. It's not really thrash. It's not heavy metal. It's just good time, yeah. fun rock and roll. So I think it, it's uh, it's good for, for for kids and it's good for anybody who wants to come along and have a good time. And they all did turn up for the uh, anniversary do, which you had, where it all began, didn't you? Yeah. You said uh, yeah, Butlins. Well, he, I mean, he thought it would be a good idea. He said, would it be funny if we went back to Butlins? And it wasn't. Not funny at all. <laughs> <laughs> Extremely difficult. It was a shock, too. I thought it was smaller. It, usually when you go back somewhere, something is smaller than it. Too. It is? A bit funny. No. Oh, I see. Maybe <laughs> now, you know now, 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 now. <laughs> Just the Same jeans. trouble. Yeah, I know. Um, Francis, you, you have said uh, we'd, we've done it all on three chords. Well, they keep telling me it was all three chords. I'm surprised. Sometimes there are five, and it's so off-putting when you've got just the three in there. <laughs> it's just that, you know, I've said that so many years, it's quite funny to say that. It makes people like three chords. <laughs> John, do you like to boogie? To boogie, yeah. I've always liked a bit of a dance, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a bit of a dance. A bit of a dance. You are. Just a bit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> to dance around. Yes. Yeah. Dawn? Oh, yeah, certainly. I mean, I had a Framus bass guitar, oh, and I friend. learned how to play it with Caroline. Mm. With Caroline? Yeah, with you, Caroline. Yeah. That, didn't, you you, didn't you have a song called Caroline? A tune. That's Wrong group. A, a song called Caroline. Yeah, there yeah. you go, a yeah. tune. Yeah. I learned how to play. It was she doesn't mean three chords. Cool. Does yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, it got to laugh that time. Yeah. It did. I told you, see, every time. Three chords. Well, listen, the way you look tonight is not, of course, the way you always have looked. And uh, here is you mm -mm. in 1968 oh, no. with yeah, your yeah. first hit single, Pictures of Matchstick Men. Oh, God. <laughs> Yeah. How about that gear, Dawn? What do you Fantastic. Think? You enjoyed that, Oh, I loved you? it. You could wear that right now and you'd be mm. atning. <laughs> atning. Atning, yeah. Francis, atning. did you ever finish growing that moustache? I, I, I didn't. It never grew properly. I used to have to um, colour it in with a matchstick, a burnt matchstick. <laughs> Hang on, let me finish. With a burnt matchstick to make it look really manly. And I forgot being a man because I grew up like this. So. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Your first single was a Shirley Bassey number, wasn't it? That's yeah. Yeah, I heard nothing. Yeah. The, your lady researcher who spent the day with us in our rehearsal room. Lovely girl. Prune? Prune. <laughs> no, <laughs> Prune. Lovely girl. She uh, mentioned that, and uh, she thought it was funny. There was an, um, 
a Shirley Bassey song, or the song with a great song, or I Who Have Nothing. We had I Who Have Nothing, um, Hurdy Gurdy Man, uh, We Ain't Got Nothing Yet, and then a track called Almost But Not Quite There, and then we had a hit single. Isn't that I, 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 good? Strange. Mm. <laughs> Extraordinary, really. You had an ambition to act, Rick. <laughs> Me? Yes. Oh, yes, yeah. Um, I, I, I did at one stage, yeah. I, I, went, uh, I, I went to acting school down in Surrey, a place called Cambridge Manor, run by a lady called Rosalie Dawn Hamilton, I don't know. Oh, yes. Yeah, of course you know Rosalie. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes? of course. You're in. Yeah. You're in. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> we should have a chat. Do you know Rosalie? I think he's covering for you, Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I was rather put off because um, in, in the first few, few weeks of being there, it was all sort of regular stuff. And then we, we started uh, this, uh, what's called the Stanislavski method, method of, of, of acting. Yeah. Mm. And uh, I, I, was, I was told to be in, in front of all these budding young thespians, which I wanted to be myself. Um, I was told to be a fried egg. You've been good at that. Right, Richard, you, <laughs> Richard, you will be a fried egg. And you have to be a fried egg. And another time I had to be this pole that's about to be hit with a mallet into the ground. And you've got to act out that you are the pole. And is that the general idea? They're the easy roles, roles, aren't they, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The character part. The character yeah. 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 Be I'd a like fried egg. I'd like to thank egg. you on behalf yeah. of the nation, actually, for not following up on that. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't be any good as a fried egg, Dawn, I'm sure. Oh, I've of that. been a good fried egg in my time. More yeah. of an omelette. Yeah. More, more of an omelette, lovey, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure you've seen all of John's great performances. They're all fried yes. eggs. Yeah. <laughs> With your success, though, I mean, you, how can I put this, you certainly lived life to the full, didn't you? Um, yeah, I, I did. Uh, the, I suppose, I don't know, the obvious rock and roll trappings, and I was a bit of an idiot, really, and I fell into it all and found myself uh, on the floors of many clubs throughout London. With John. John actually mm -hmm. saw me on the floor of a club one night. Yeah, we've seen a few floors. Yeah, we were lying <laughs> down there together. <laughs> and... Uh, yeah, I mean, and, and the, 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 the thing in the papers and stuff, and fell into all that sort of you trap. You love and, it. And uh, I, I, got, <laughs> you love I, got, I got tagged as uh, wild man, uh, this, this tag, which of course was true. And um, they said you've made a million twice and lost it twice. Yeah, pr possibly more than that. I mean, really, uh, I've lost that was count. You, wasn't it? No, I got it. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Better than my wife dressed. Mm. <laughs> Very good. Thanks. Working well tonight, lovely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you were all at Live Aid together, weren't you? Livid, we call it. Feed the yeah. Welsh, wasn't it? Livid. <laughs> Livid. <laughs> we yeah. were, yeah. It's a great day, wasn't it? Who? Who? Incredible who day. Did you introduce, did you introduce somebody? Queen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> queen. <laughs> Not the Queen. No. Prince Charles is a fan, isn't he? Um, apparently so. He's been to see us a few times, yeah. yeah. That sounded terrible. I haven't seen him for a while. <laughs> <laughs> does, he, does he come round afterwards and say... He phoned me up the other day and said he was coming round. He didn't turn up. <laughs> he said he was. <laughs> <laughs> I'm supposed to go and do the shopping like you do. He's yeah. like that. I've found that. He's like that. I'm supposed to say anything. Dodgy. Yeah. Is that Mark yeah. Suspense is stuck in there? Yeah. That Mark Suspense is chicken tikka. He won't have it. Yeah, he came to... <laughs> <laughs> No, it's, no. The, it's the meatballs, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, what are you going to perform for us? Um, <laughs> in a word, um, well, you a medley. Know, you know. A medley. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's what you heard earlier. That's a you relief, know. Yes. What we were talking about, yeah. yeah. Good, well, I look forward to that very much. <laughs> <laughs> May I say, thank you very much, Rick Parfit <laughs> and Francis much. Rossi. Thank you. Thank you. John Hurt. And Dawn French. And thank you very much to your company. See you next week. Bye bye.
michael aspel returns next saturday on central at the earlier time of nine fifty.